So in this section, we're going to cover how to do, say, a two-box effect. So for my two-box effect, normally I'd actually build it on the second ME, or the upper ME. So program ME is MLE2, and my secondary ME is MLE1. So here, I'm going to pick the background that I want to place behind it. So while I'm building it, I'll put it on program. And now we're going to use our keyers to do these DVE boxes. Normally, I'll select preset pattern because it'll automatically assign that DVE box for me. I can then assign the camera, which I want inside of the box. And now, using the joystick, I can squeeze it back and position my box anywhere I like. Inside of the DV, I have things that I can modify, not just position, but also rotation. So if I select rotation in the menu, now I can tilt the box. I can rotate it on any axis. And what's nice is there's a button right on top of the joystick. And if you click on the button, the button actually will toggle between rotation and position in this mode. You can also modify where the presets are centered. So this is where the pivot point is for rotation, as well as the pivot position. You can modify aspect of the image as well. So by applying the aspect, you can now actually stretch out the aspect of the image. You can also perform crops, both horizontally and vertically. All edges are independent of one another. You can apply independent transit transparency, as well as you can freeze the video frame if you wish. But going back to the basics, if I click on a knob, it will reset those parameters. Or I can hold down overall position and hit clear. Rotation and hit clear. When I'm setting up my two box, I actually have two choices. I could perform the two boxes in two separate keyers. Now, a lot of people like to do this because it makes it very easy to distinguish between each source. So I would select my second box, and I could begin the process again of doing the same thing, selecting preset pattern, which will automatically turn on the fly key, and then selecting my source and positioning it. Or if I want these to be symmetrical, I can use a feature called key copy. So just hold down the button, press the other key, so destination then source, and now this has the exact same parameters as the other box. So now I just move it, slide it over to the side, and I can go ahead and assign a different source into that box. Now that I've set up my two box and I have the effect the way I want it, I would store this to a memory thus allowing me to recall it at any time. So I can do up to a four box. And if I want to move them all together, I can hold down the link button. And I can actually link all these areas together. And if I wanted to, I could remove an individual item. So I could say, hey, you know what? I actually just want these to move so that they're completely independent. You can also hold down link, hit clear, and it clears all the functions. And if you clear everything and then hit hold, now, no matter what I do, my joystick won't follow along. 